Nomophobia is the fear of losing access to a mobile phone or mobile phone services. The Oxford English Dictionary officially added the word in the year 2019. The fact that cell phones causes anxiety was known long ago, yet a term was introduced later on. The name is generally derived from no mobile phone phobia. Nomophobia is another form of anxiety that not only gives people nauseous feelings in their guts, but may doom their heart too. The reason behind it varies from person to person depending on the mental and psychic conditions of one's body. Some are afraid to lose contact with people, while others may worry about updating their social media. Nomophobia is mainly the fear of losing contact with the smartphone and its applications. Like drug addiction, people become frustrated or depressed when they do not get their hands on their phones after a while. They may have stressful dreams about losing their phones or not contacting their friends and family. Along with the depression, stress and anxiety, nomophobia is also associated with sleep disruption, daytime sleepiness and poor sleep hygiene habits, including excessive napping, sedentary lifestyle and uneasiness. Other symptoms are low self-esteem, panic attacks, agitation, irritation and introverted personality. Mental disorders like social phobia, social anxiety and panic disorders also relate to nomophobia. You might have nomophobia if you have such habits of digging your head into your phone all the time. If you can't go to sleep without scrolling through your newsfeed, keep your notifications on even before going to bed, feel uncomfortable when you misplace your phone, you might have nomophobia. It is like your mobile phone has rendered you helpless. You always make sure that it is in your hand or at least in your pocket. And as soon as anybody takes it away from you, it makes you feel go crazy and dizzy than you have ever been. And if anybody tries to keep you away from your phone, you start feeling restless and uncomfortable by the time. The health effects of nomophobia can vary from person to person. It could either be mild, like ignoring your friends while updating your status on social media, or it can be severe, leading to dysfunctionality. This might turn their eyes away from distressed relatives just because they're busy in their own social life. However, the severity depends on how much smartphones disrupt your work routine or personal life. An average user checks his smartphone 35 times a day for about 30 seconds each time, whereas more than 50% of people who have nomophobia never switch off their smartphones. Cell phones are the biggest addiction of the 21st century. A college student spends an average of 9 hours per day on social media. Unfortunately, today more than 77% of teens report anxiety when they have to stay away from their mobile phones. As per a study, 61% of people check their mobile phones when they get up in the morning. There is stress on almost every adult to keep up with the social updates daily. Pressure for continually being connected to mobile phones increases anxiety as it leaves no time for students to get relaxed and relieve daily stress. It keeps on growing and eventually may lead to a mental dysfunctionality. Nomophobia is therefore emerging as a threat to our social, psychological and physical health. Smart gadgets are part and parcel of every human being. They all need it to get their works done, like shopping, freelancing, cooking, blogging, etc. In short, today's life is not possible without smart gadgets in one's hands, and the excess of everything is terrible not only for our physical, but mental health too. Thus, technology may give you a hard time managing your mental, emotional and physical health. Moreover, it can disrupt your daily activities and even your relationship with friends and family. If you feel such distress, you surely need a therapist to seek treatment. The best method to treat a phobia is self-care. The only thing that can help you challenge your fears is self-awareness. You are the only person who can help yourself. Be strong and take action. Tell your mind that enough is enough. You are your own master and only you can rule yourself. Take hold and accept the challenge that stands in your way to a healthy and everyday life. And soon such things will vanish away. Set some challenges for yourself and tell your mind to abide by them no matter what and you will see things happening your way. Where there is a will, there is a way. That's how it goes. Turn off your phone at night time to get a sound sleep of 6 to 8 hours. If you get up in the night and have this urge to check your phone, strictly tell your mind to go back to sleep or instead leave your phone outside the room where you can't quickly go and check. Take a walk away from your phone. Yes, try leaving your phone back and go out for an activity that is healthy enough to keep you distracted. You can set time with your friends to play a sport, do grocery, take your pet out, etc. It is all about taking a break from your phone and how good it can make you feel. Set a time in a day when you don't have any gadgets around. 
It can go like having a game with your family members, playing chess with your friend, sitting in a garden, or taking a walk by the beach, etc. It will also encourage your loved ones to have in-person interactions. Therefore, nomophobia is a growing concern, especially in the 21st century. Do not let the technology overwhelm you in a way that you might regret later. Take a step ahead of the time, change your lifestyle, and be your own master.